And welcome to uh, Your Health with MU Healthcare here on AM 1340 KXEO. Have a, a special guest joining me today, Dr. Jason Rodier. And if you would just kind of tell uh, people a little bit about yourself and what you do here at the uh, University of Missouri Healthcare. Hi there. I'm Dr. Jason Rodier. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist with Mason Eye Care at the University of Missouri. I'm a general eye specialist and cataract specialist and surgeon that works on a lot of eye conditions, including cataracts, dry eyes, and glaucoma. Outstanding. Uh, I know we're in the wintertime months here, so kind of talk a little bit about how wintertime affects uh, people's eyes. A lot of times you go out in the cold, your eyes start watering up. Uh, you know, uh, should you be concerned about that? I have had so many patients that have come into the clinic and told me, you know, the weather changed in October, and ever since then I've been having these problems. And you hit the nail on the head. What happens, you go outside, the weather's cold, the humidity drops down to zero, that wind hits you and your eyes just dry out very fast. That watering's a normal response to your eyes being dry, but if you start to have vision problems because of dryness, that is actually a medical condition that can be treated. Um, symptoms of dry eyes that are problematic enough to warrant seeing an eye specialist are things such as um, problematic tearing, excessive watering, tears going down the cheeks instead of through the tear drains like they should. Sometimes people will have problems even inside their house, things like they start reading and their vision's good, but they notice by the time they have to turn the page, everything's gotten foggy. Uh, kind of uh, go over some things that maybe people could do to, to, to help prevent that. Is there anything that they can do? You know, the first thing I recommend all my patients do is try over-the-counter artificial tears or lubricant drops. You're looking for something that specifically calls itself a tear or a lubricant. You want to steer clear of products that say they remove the redness or the itch. Some popular brands are things like TheraTears, Refresh, Sustain, and Genteel Teardrops. And you can use those several times a day. For many people, that's sufficient to relieve symptoms to the point that you don't need further care. If you wait too long, is, is it a bad thing? Will your vision deteriorate or is it better to catch it early? It has to be extremely bad to cause permanent damage to the surface of the eyes. Um, so the chances are, if it's enough that it bothers you a little bit, trying the tears is sufficient. If that does not improve your vision or you continue to have symptoms, you should see an eye care provider. Will sunglasses help protect your eyes out to, you know, during the wintertime? Is it, would you recommend that to, to protect your eyes? You know, I like sunglasses a lot. Um, just because the sun's farther away and it's colder doesn't mean it isn't as bright, especially if you're engaging in wintertime sports, things like skiing, snowboarding, things where there's a lot of snow on the ground. You can actually get snow blindness from the amount of just bright light entering the eyes. So goggles or sunglasses are definitely worth it. In addition, having some tight wrapped sunglasses can keep that cold wind off your face and help reduce the amount of dryness and tearing that people tend to get. Outstanding. Now, if uh, people are wanting to uh, come and talk to you or somebody here at MU Healthcare, how could they go about doing that? Um, calling in to our call center or calling our front desk at Mason Eye Care. That number is 573-882-1506. You can call and make an appointment with myself or any one of the other eye specialists that we have with us. Is it, is it pretty easy to get an appointment made here at uh, MU Healthcare? It's usually not too hard. We try very hard to get people in in a timely manner, and for a general first exam, we can usually get you in pretty quick. Anything else you want to add that maybe I've missed here today about eye care that uh, you would share with us? You know, one of the other things that people don't always think about during the winter is the night hours are just so much longer. And one of the problems that a lot of patients have, especially once you get over the age of 50, is cataracts. And one of the first symptoms of cataracts is um, difficulty with glare and especially trouble with night driving. So when you get out of work at 5 o'clock and it's already dark, you can have a lot of trouble with that. Um, we do offer cataract evaluations and consultations at Mason Eye Institute. And if you're concerned about your night driving, you should see somebody. There's a reason. You should get it checked. <laughs> Outstanding. I want to thank you for joining us today, and hopefully uh, we'll get to talk to you again in the future, sir. That sounds lovely. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much. This has been Your Health with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO.